my quilt and friends how you all doing today I'm a little bit under the weather I've been for a while um, I did many videos because um, I hadn't been feeling good and been going to the doctor gotta go tomorrow hopefully this is my last test tomorrow so I hope everybody is doing wonderful Enjoying the spring, getting your flowers out, and your gardens ready, and the whole nine. Um, but I want to thank and say welcome to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys uh, coming over and watching my videos and subscribing. And I hope you will like more videos. Also, I'm getting all my uh, material for my dear Jane, you know. I showed you that's one I'm going to do. Uh, I'm still working on uh, um, my windows, Cathedral Window Quilt. Still working on that. Um, kind of put it down for a while because, like I said, I just wasn't feeling like sewing or doing anything. And with the baby and all and taking care of her and trying to take care of myself sometimes get a little bit overwhelming but she's got a birthday this month the end of this month she'll be a year old so we're throwing her a big birthday party uh, her aunts are uh, her great aunts are <laughs> put it that way but anyway I want to show you my flowers what I've been doing I, I work on these a lot of times when I'm in the doctor's office and I was actually trying to get the fill of it to see if I wanted to do this quilt. I know I wanted to do it, but I just wanted to see what it would be like. And I'm actually using smaller hexagons than most people use. But this is my one of my blocks, and I put my background on this. And I actually made a mistake here. I've been putting my solid here. That's the original pattern from the old quilts. And my, I was at my mom's working on this, and she just refused to let me change it. And uh, <laughs> which I had already put on, put these six on. And when she said, That doesn't look like the same. And I was like, Oh my God, I did it wrong. But I was going to take it out. And she said, No, no, leave it. So this block will be in the center of the quilt. And that's my mom's block. And here's a couple of more I did. I hope you can see those. I did uh, on it. And I got, actually I'm working on this one here, putting my um, background on it. So I'm working on this one. And I have this one, which I'm going to have a lot of different colors. I have that one, as you can see. I think that one's pretty. I have this one. I think they're all pretty. And that one. And it's easy. It's not so hard to do these. Do it to this point. But it seems like it takes you forever to get that background. Because I think it's like 24. If I'm not mistaken. I think it's 6, 12, and 24. I'll give you some numbers on that in the description. What? It takes to do one block and that's one I think that one's pretty and then this one my mom like she picked out that orange I love orange but she loves orange too but I will give you all uh, the numbers on how many blocks around and I'm gonna do the green path between them and I gotta see how to set them and all I hadn't got to that point because you know I never did this before so beginners showing beginners i guess because i've never did one of these before but i like it it's and every time i take them to the doctor's office and i pull them out everybody's working on their phones and i'll pull these out and they'll be like oh i was watching you and you know with kobe you don't want people around you but they're attention grabbers and people come over. I like this purple one. It looks good with the yellow. I'm doing all yellow centers on them and everything. And they'll come over and one lady said she's did several but she's never used this is an inch and a half uh, hexagon. This is an inch and a half hexagon. 
that I'm doing them out of. She says she's never did them that small. But uh, I'm working on them. I guess I could. Let me see if I can tilt this camera down. And maybe get you a little bit closer. Sorry about the bumping. Y'all on a roller coaster. I'll see if I can show you this. If not, uh, where's my needle? There's my needle. And, I mean, it doesn't, it's not as hard as you think it is. Um, I thought it was going to be hard. I think I had a little knot there. I came out the living room. I wasn't in oldest to aunt tail. I'm trying to fix. But you just pinch them together right there, you see. You just pinch them together. And some, a lot of people do. I see mine, all mine are basted with thread and I like the basting with the thread better I don't have to really take it out if I don't want to and I don't have any plans on taking it out uh, just the paper but some people like to do it with uh, with the glue and what I found with the glue is if I get it too tight I can't I can pin I can't pinch it up I can pinch it up to catch it here if I don't, you know, if I got it glued, of course I couldn't. But I don't think y'all can see that too well. But I usually have a thimble on. But see, like, if it's too tight, you can just pinch it up. Just pull it up a little bit. Pull it up and hold it. And you just pinch it. And you pick up a little bit. You don't want to go through the paper. I need my other light here. I don't have my light on. But I'm just going to do a few stitches. And I promise you I'll do a video. I'll be set up better to do a video and show you how to how to do them. And yes, I do have a long thread. I think somebody said, long thread, lazy girl. That's what the old time quilters will call you. But it's very, I like it. I, I take them and this shows you how much I've been in the doctor's office, how much I've gotten done because I can just take them and stick them in my purse and while I'm waiting for to be called back or whatever I don't I don't when I go in the doctor's office I cut my phone completely off so anybody know me no if I'm in the doctor's office my phone is gonna be cut off I know one time I forgot and doctor my doctor was talking to me and my phone went off and it was embarrassing and it's disrespectful too. So I just sit and do this. Uh, good project you can take with you. I don't do them at the ball field with my grandson because I'm watching him, but uh, play ball. But I watch TV. I sit and watch TV, as you can see. I'm in my bedroom. I've been in my bedroom a lot. And I got all my. Sh uh, vaccination and that's not what's making me feel bad because that's I got that did I had that did I think last Saturday I got my last one and uh, all I did was make my arm sore a little bit my doctors was really on to me about getting them because of my COPD and Congested heart failure. They wanted to make sure that I got them. So I trust them. And my grandson's going to have to do it. So I figured I'll be the guinea pig until they get his did. And my mother had already got hers. So I wanted to go ahead and get mine. I had to go ahead and get mine. But you see, I can pinch that up if it doesn't. If I don't have enough to, if I'm going through the paper. I can pinch it up to my taste. I don't really, I want to make sure it's it's there and that it's not on the edge there. I'm not sewing on the edge and after a few washes it come out. I'm hoping that it'll last my kids a long time. But this is what I've been doing. Um, I got some blocks in there for my uh, gazebo window. I need to starch and iron and get ready to add. But, uh, I, you know, I've been working on 400 blocks. And I think I'd like 20 more on that. And then I'm going to start.
putting them together. I want to get through with it before August because I started in August and I want to get through with it before August. I don't know if you guys can see that. I got new glasses and, uh, well, I hadn't got them yet. I ordered. I went in and had that did. While I was doing all my doctor's appointments and this is the first time I used this place and then they've been gone two weeks. I'm used to getting my glasses in an hour. And uh, so hopefully they'll have them this week. But anyway, it's very easy. And what I do is that when I get to the end here, I take a knot. You see the back of this? This is the, uh, the needle. I just bring it around, wrap it around. This is a nice little knot. It doesn't come out. It does snag sometimes if you pull it too quick. But that's a nice little knot. So I use that little knot. I'm going to do it for you. I always do two at the end. You want to secure that. And you see, I just pick up the back end. That's the eye on my needle there. And I bring it around the front of the needle. I wrap it twice. And just pull it tight. Pull it tight. And you got your little knot. Then I'll put one right here and add it on. And that's how you do that. This is not a good video, I know. I will take the time to do you another video and show you how a video to do it. because I didn't did a video I noticed in two months. So I want to do something real quick for you guys and show you. Uh hopefully I'll be feeling better soon and I can get you up some videos. But I hope you all are doing well. Hope your families are doing well. I hope you're getting out to grandkids, great grandkids, sports events, and um, enjoying yourself. Just be safe. Try to be safe. I told my daughter. It seems like when we go to the to the ballpark, he's playing softball now, and he'll play soccer. I think in the fall, if I'm not mistaken. But soccer be next. He likes soccer. People just get right up under you. No mask, just right up under you, but that's not what I'm dealing with right now. I'm dealing with a shortness of breath, just really tired. I'm just really drained all the time. So, dealing with that, and I'm, I did a stress test and um, another test on my heart, and I did three, two tests on my lungs. And um, in the breathing test, so they'll let me know what all of it says. And usually every year they have to fix me a new cocktail. I call my medication; they change it out a cocktail. So hopefully they'll get that done this week. I'm so sick of them poking and everything, but you know when you get older, that's what you go through. But hopefully I get all that done this uh, week, this coming week, and uh, just keep me in your prayers, y'all. And uh, I hope you all are doing well. You all, I'm going to let you go. You all have a blessed day. Um, you and your families. And spend some time with older people. I know a lot of older people are getting bored because they still, family can't come around, so... Spend some time with them. Call them up. FaceTime them. Do something. My mother loves to see me every chance she get. But anyway, you all have a blessed day. Talk to you later. Hey, you all. I want y'all to see these tables. I bought this table. See, it doesn't say flush. Um, I bought it off of eBay for 100 for $109, I think it was. But anyway, they sent me, I think this is the one they replaced. You see how bad the table sits, where my machine should go. And this is the other one. You see that? I would not put my machine on that one. And the second one they sent me was worse than, it had more flaws than the first one. And so I got my grandson's quilt here. I've been trying to get to, and I got the baby's quilt I've been trying to get to, but I can't because 
of the bad tables that I just got in. And I've been waiting on these tables, save my little money to get them. And they just look bad. They really look bad. The tables, really. But as far as sturdiness, they're pretty sturdy. It's just this part here. This part is no good. Yeah. Can't get them to set level. I done did everything. They didn't try to show me, but anyway, I got them off of eBay. Just recommend spend a few more dollars and get a better table. I thought that was a good deal. But I wind up with two of them, and that would be good if I could use them both. And I probably can use them both. Maybe I'd do something to make them work for me.